a little overwhelmed. Uh, I knew this was a big deal. I didn't know it was this big a deal. And I'd like to thank Bernie personally because he read that exactly the way I had written it. <laughs> I, appreciate, I, I appreciate that very much. I want to get one thing on the record right off the bat is that our philosophies over a century, mine not a century, but certainly in my 20 years at Kansas, are exactly the same as a, 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 as a, as a, a SIGET motto that you guys live by. Neither one of us never hates. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell can you never hate? <laughs> Is, are there any undergraduates in the room tonight? I can't see very well, but are the undergraduates here? Captain Just the president? president? Sir, okay, Captain so, President. Okay, so can I make a suggestion moving forward? Okay, because I met, I, I, I met the, the president, obviously a, a, a sharp guy and on top of it. Congratulations with all your success. I mean, five years in a row being the top dog in Kansas is a pretty big deal. And I got a lot of paper friends in the <laughs> but but the one thing that I have learned being at Kansas in basketball, the best way for your present players to really respect your tradition and history is to have them present when our guys come back. So I would make a suggestion, and, and I, this is fabulous, but for present members to have the opportunity to to connect with. And, and certainly associate with all of you because it's amazing to me our present players do not know how much it means to the ex-players how well they do. Mm. It's obvious here tonight that you care so much about what's going on with our youth that it would benefit them to, to, to basically draw on those connections and contacts that would help them potentially the rest of their life just like it's helped you being connected to your brothers for the rest of, 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 of your life as well. So I, I <laughs> now we have we have a SIGET fraternity, obviously, in Stillwater. And, and, and uh, I didn't get in, but, but I, I was actually rushed a little bit. But back then, I thought, God, how fun would this be? I can go to every party on campus <laughs> if I don't join one. But if I join one, I'm limited. On one. So, so it actually worked out okay with me. <laughs> but I will tell you this. I regret not having this. This is really cool. That, 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 that you know, when, when Dale asked me to come speak at this last year, I, you know, I had no idea. And I love Dale, and you got to respect Dale. Ellie's in charge of $3 billion. <laughs> so, 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 but but, but this, this, this is really good. But the thing about it is, that's one thing that I missed out on. Uh, uh, because uh, 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 I don't think I made the connections when I was in college uh, uh, through my teammates who I loved and, and everything else that... You had the opportunity to basically get a jump start on the rest of your life with the contacts that you made. There are people here, if they're willing to give money to make sure you have good living conditions, they're willing to give you make a phone call to make sure you get a good jump start on your future too. So I I, I think that's very important. So I, I, I actually am jealous that this existed. I, I had a good run. At, 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 in Stillwater, I, I do have one claim to fame. Uh, uh, my only type of Greek success or notoriety that I had, for one year, I was a Pi Pi Arrow man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that didn't suck. <laughs> Not one recruit that we ever talked to do we not tell them 
that the inventor of the game was our first coach. Mm. And also, there's not one recruit that I don't tell them that my winning percentage is better than me. <laughs> <laughs>
the most historic basketball program in the history of our sport. I certainly appreciate that. Um, you know, one thing I've learned in the last several weeks is, you know, I've been, you know, I've got dizzy spells and I went through a period of time where I couldn't stand up very good and all this stuff and they said my heart was kind of messed up and that was in large part because I felt like we were playing with only five guys because our bench went very good. <laughs> James Neesmith would not have been proud of that. Uh, he may have been uh, with, the, with the young ladies team in, in Missouri, but not, not with the way we play. Uh, 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 but, you know, one thing I have learned, uh, 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 I've learned a couple of things. One, what are you guys, I mean, I've always been so impressed with, with the intellect of Kansas graduates. Because I know nothing about what you do, but you not only know everything about your profession, but you know everything about mine. <laughs> <laughs> but I am not quite as impressed with you now. <laughs> How many doctors do we have in the house? <laughs> Everybody, so, so we, have, we have several doctors in the house. I had a chance to get the best medical care there is at KU. The best. <laughs> But, how hard is it to tell somebody to lose weight, exercise, and eat right? I mean, I could have done that. <laughs> you know, my parents have told me that for years. I mean, so, so uh, I'll say this. And granted, I don't have any notes, so I'll say this in scripture. But consistency happens this way, in my opinion. Consistency happens not not when you not when you maximize your upside. Consistency happens when you minimize your downside. And all you all you know that at some point in time in your professional life that you know what yeah it was rough. God, it could have been a lot rougher. We know that. One thing that has made me very proud of of, of, of what. Uh, the Kansas basketball program has done in our time here is we haven't always met, maybe maximized our upside, and I'm the first to to admit that. But every year we minimize our downside. Yep. yep. Every year since I've been here, we're in the game yeah. to win the national championship. Yeah. Than be consistent. There's no question about that. But you can't win them unless you're in the game. And, 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 and the thing about it is, the worst team that we've had since we've been here is a four seed in the NCAA tournament. There are schools that would give anything to be a four seed. You know, the, 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 our, our average seed in the NCAA tournament for the last 17 years is 1.6. <laughs> Two years ago, we won it. We, 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 we got fortunate. We, we won it. And, 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 and uh, in all honesty, it's amazing how much good fortune goes into it. Uh, luck goes into it. And then this year, we actually had a pretty good year. We're actually pretty good. And, 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 and uh, some things happen late, and things don't play out perfect, and, and we end up. Uh, uh, losing earlier than we should, uh, and all that stuff. But that's life. That's sports. That's stuff that you and your brothers go to, go through each and every year. And, and I will tell you this: the thing that excites me the most is coming off a time where we're not quite as good uh, 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 in the end game. In the end game, because people just equate how you do in the postseason is, is if you're successful. But when we're not quite as good in the end game, 
It's amazing to me because of the history, because of everybody that came before us, because of the greatness that came before us, because of people that I haven't even met. We've recruited and reloaded in a way that I really think that we're going to be better to the gentleman's point than we've ever been moving forward. And the way we've been has been pretty hard. school, exposure, tradition, mm. opportunity. I mean, there are so many things going on with us now that's so much better than it was. And the reason it's happened is because generationally, people have cared for us in large part because people have taken so much pride in Kansas basketball. And the biggest reason they've taken pride in Kansas basketball is because the inventor of the game was our first coach. Yeah. I'll, let you, I'll, I'll let you guys go tonight, but, but uh, I just want to tell you, I think this is really cool what you're doing. I, I, this, this is special. I don't know, how often do you do this? Every hundred years. <laughs> I would want to see my ex-players every year. I would see them every five years. But, uh, uh, you know, we do our we do our uh, uh, reunion, but we do it every five years. So, so this is even more special that you do it every year. And, and, and uh, uh, I would make one suggestion, though, is not to let the undergrads ever not think there's opportunities for them to make contacts with people in this room that can impact their life. When I was 18, when I was 17, no, no, how old was I? I was 21 years old. I was a, a junior at Oklahoma State, and I had a chance to work Kansas' basketball camp. And many of you have heard the story if you follow us. It's a boring-ass story. So it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> but while I was here, I actually hurt my knee. And Larry felt bad, and Maury felt bad the more I limped, and it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. But when camp was over, <coughs> I, I wouldn't thank Larry for the opportunity to be a part in a very small way of something that I thought was really special. And he said, Bill, if there's ever one thing I could do for you, just ask. And it's the same thing that these undergrads could ask you. If there's ever one thing, I said, if there is, Coach, one thing, you can hire me next year to be graduate assistant. <laughs> and he said, you're hired. Boom. Hey. Hey. Actually, got to get out of here. I got to catch a flight to Miami. There's some Formula <coughs> One race tomorrow in Miami. <laughs> that, 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 that I'm supposed to go down there. I hate doing it, but I got to go down there and help raise some money. Uh, I'm going to do that. But it's an honor to be here amongst you tonight, and I hope you guys all have a great time. Thank you. Very much.